want you to take a moment and talk about the history of the jackets because okay. it's such a unique jacket. Mm -hmm. I'm here in my Searsucker Derby outfit, yep. and that's the traditional Kentucky Derby Festival jacket. It it's is. It's changed a few times over the years, but I'll... It, it has. Back in the 70s, it used to be just a uh, maroon color blazer with a pocket patch. Okay. Uh, and then uh, the double-breasted polyester uh, jackets that they had, they were navy, and they had uh, they were f Pegasus, but they looked like bumblebees, yellow bumblebees <laughs> in them. And you couldn't lean up against anything because it would... You rub off? Yeah, you would stick to it. You would pick. Uh, and then we went to a teal color with pink. Okay. Uh, and in 2006, we selected these. And the idea was that uh, if a, a lady or a gentleman were at work, they could wear something with black slacks, mm -hmm. and, you know, the tie doesn't look too garish, and then slip the jacket on and go somewhere. Well, gotcha. what we found out is people miss the bright color of it. So we're in the process now of redesigning ah. the jacket. So my guess is next year, you're not going to see, you're going to see a new jacket mm -hmm. and it's not going to be a blue blazer with a pocket a patch. It's going to be something bright. Now on your lapel, you've got mm -hmm. a couple versions of the Pegasus pin. I've got several here. Yes. What's the history quickly behind that? Because it's such an iconic thing with the Derby Festival. It really is. And how um, you pick a new one every year and the poster, of course. They've always been plastic. Uh, the first one was in 1973. Okay. Uh, we've had at least one every year since then. There were some years that we had in multiple colors. You could have as many as five. Mm -hmm. There's a huge collector's market out there for them. I can imagine. That first year they sold for a dollar. Mm -hmm. uh, now they're $6 at retail or $7 at right. the gate when you go to events. Uh, it's rough. Roughly 20-25% of the festival's income wow. is through the sale of these pins. That's great. Uh, if you're digging around like I used to in a drawer or your mom's jewelry box or something and you come across those early pins, don't throw them away. They, uh, they again, worse. sell, you know, there's one of them on eBay right now that sold for $700. Wow. Yeah. Plastic. Plastic. <laughs> I love it.